Hello, this is a virtual pathology specimen of dermatofibroma or benign fibrous histiocytoma of the skin. And we are looking at the cut surface here and in this view we are not able to see the lesion. So let's orientate ourselves and here on the surface is the skin and this is the cut surface. This is the region of the lesion and it is relatively subtle as you can see. There is a slight depression and brownish discoloration on the skin surface and in the dermis there is this ill-defined lesion that appears pale tan in colour. Let's learn a bit more about dermatofibroma. Dermatofibromas are also known as fibrous histiocytomas or benign fibrous histiocytomas of the skin and this is a dermal based benign proliferation of fibroblastic and histiocytic cells. It is very common and occurs in young adults, more frequently in females, and it's important to take note that immunocompromised patients may have multiple lesions. Clinically, they tend to appear on the extremities, especially in the legs, and they can also occur in the trunk or in other locations, and they will present as a small, painless area of discoloration that's usually less than two centimeters in diameter, and it may be flat or raised or polypoid. And this is the pinch sign, which is if you pinch the skin on either side, the area of the lesion actually dimples downwards. And this is quite a useful clinical sign. Dermatofibromas usually remain stable in size over many years. Their treatment is complete excision with clear margins. The virtual pathology specimen that we saw earlier is available on our free online pathology resource path web. You can scan here to learn more and the registration link is in the video description. So grossly, this would appear as a pigmented papule or sometimes a raised nodule. And here you can see this vague brownish area. And in this particular lesion, we have a brownish area of discoloration and centrally there is a whitish area and this can also be a feature of dermatofibroma. Here you can just about make out that there's a little bit of wrinkling of the skin around this lesion which appears somewhat bluish. On the cut surface, here we can see that this area of abnormality is an area of pale yellowish discoloration within the dermis. This whitish area is the normal dermis and it sort of just extends to the deep aspect of the dermis. The reason why sometimes it appears more yellowish is because it can also have quite a lot of histiocytes. This is another example. On the cut surface, you can see this not so well defined area of whitish discoloration extending from the dermis into the superficial subcutis. Here is another example, and this is a cellular dermatofibroma, it's one of the variants, and this lesion tends to extend a little bit deeper into the subcutis, and you can see that this is a little bit more well circumscribed than the others. Microscopically, as mentioned, this is a dermal lesion, so it is unencapsulated, and the borders are quite irregular. It's usually centered in the dermis and sometimes extends into the subcutis, as we saw earlier. And what we see is a proliferation of these spindled fibroblasts and sometimes also histiocytes, which can appear foamy. And there may occasionally be mitotic figures. Usually, at the periphery of the lesion, we can see thick bundles of collagen, which are entrapped between the lesional cells, and this is called collagen trapping. And there are several histologic subtypes. Some examples I've given here, cellular, aneurysmal, atypical, or deep dermatofibroma. These tend to come with a higher risk of recurrence or very rarely metastatic behavior. There is a separate talking slide video demonstrating the virtual microscopic features. And this video can also be found in PathWeb. This page is taken from our Virtual Pathology Museum. This is an example of a dermatofibroma or a benign fibrous histiocytoma. And this usually presents often in the limbs 
as an area of discoloration that is relatively small, sometimes with the pinch sign with central dimpling. And this is a dermal lesion. It is not generally very well defined and not encapsulated. And this is benign and usually cured by complete excision. If you scroll down, you will be able to see additional information as well as labeled gross and microscopic pictures and talking pots and talking slides videos. Thank you.